fall breakfast ideas video. Now, this video will get you hungry. Fair warning, um, I got so hungry making this video, so just a little heads up for y'all. Um, it is also a collab with my new friend on YouTube, Fab's Creations. I'll have her video link down below. She is doing three last minute Halloween costume ideas. Here is my fall breakfast ideas. Roll the clips, girl. So for this first recipe, you're going to need the Pillsbury cinnamon roll dough and I got the orange icing because it is more festive for fall and I just opened that and put it on my waffle griddle. Now it says to place them in the center to prevent the sides from burning, which I did. The first one I put three on. And then my first batch did end up getting burnt. So in the next time I applied pan to prevent it from sticking and it turned out way better. Once they had cooled, I put the orange icing on them and they were such a amazing and delicious treat. Wild. You're Next, we are making an apple cinnamon smoothie, and you're going to need pumpkin, oats, Greek yogurt, an apple, milk of your choice, pumpkin pie spice, and a half of banana. So first, I just cut up my apple into slices so it would blend better. Then I added my half of my banana. Then I added a fourth of a cup of pumpkin puree and a half cup of oats, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, one fourth cup of Greek yogurt. I did pumpkin pie because it's more festive. Then a half cup of almond milk. Then you're gonna put the cap on and blend it all together. And once it's all done, you have a perfect fall smoothie. Next, we are making maple cinnamon roll donuts, and you're gonna take pumpkin puree, two eggs, vanilla, almond milk, nutmeg, cinnamon, sugar, salt, baking powder, butter, and flour. Um, take your one cup of flour and pour it into the bowl, and then a half cup of sugar, one fourth cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of salt, and a cup and a half of milk of your choice. Once again, I chose almond milk, and one half cup of pumpkin puree. Then you're going to take two eggs and put them into your mixture. Then a half cup of melted butter. Try and melt it completely because I did not, <laughs> and it will blend much better. Then you're going to take two teaspoons of this maple extract, one teaspoon of vanilla, and blend that all together. Then you will take pan, pan, and spray your pan. Now I did not have a donut pan, so a cupcake platter had to suffice. So I poured all of my mixture with a measuring cup. Then once that was done, I put the donuts into the oven for 12 minutes and I ended up having to bake them for about 15 minutes to get a full cook. And then for the icing, you're going to take 1 fourth cup of brown sugar, 1 fourth cup of butter, and 2 tablespoons of almond milk, and a half cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of maple extract. Then you're gonna blend that all together. And then once your donuts are out of the oven and cooled, pour that and drizzle it over the donuts and let it kind of absorb into the donuts and it will taste super good. All right, 
Alright guys, thanks for watching my fall breakfast ideas videos, video, plural. Now go ahead and go check out um, my friend's channel, Fab's Creations. I'll have her link down below along with her video and all of that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite, your favorite idea that I showed you guys today. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Bonjour!